Welcome back everyone, this is Wasar TV and you are with Sil Patel, one of Mr. Cordio's cat guru. I am a third year student who has three jobs, teach, sleep, cat and repeat. For the remainder of our tutorials, we will be recreating a 3D replica of Barcelona Pavilion using AutoCAD. If you would like further information about Barcelona Pavilion and the architect for this building, please see the links below. All I have to say is, he was one of the greatest modern architects of our time. So let's take a look at some of the pics of Barcelona Pavilion. Now, what do you might achieve by the end of this series? In this video, you will learn about tabs and ribbons, status bar and its uses, units and drawing limits, and layer management and why it is so important to understand before constructing your model. So sit back and relax. Pay close attention to me as I show you how to create the Barcelona Pavilion from beginning to end. Before we can start designing the Barcelona Pavilion, we need to set up our units in AutoCAD. Because we measured the flow plan with an architectural scale, our unit length type should be set to architectural. Keep in mind, the scale will vary on depending on what units you assign based on your local standards. By default, my working area or the drawing space limits are set to 1 feet by 9 inches. You will need to type in limits and set your limits to match the project size. The pavilion size is around 172 feet by 74 feet. So I will set up my limits a little larger than the actual size. This allows me to zoom in and out without any problems. Next type in zoom, press enter and then click on all options in the command line to zoom it to zoom out to 200 feet. To create a new layer, click on the Layers property button on the Layer panel or type LA and press Enter. Both options will open up the Layers property dialog box where you can edit and add new layers for your design. To add a new layer, click on the New Layer button on the top of the Layers property dialog box. A new layer will appear. It is essential to give each layer a specific name to help with each object that will attach to that layer. The layers I created for this design are back wall, middle wall, floor, outside wall, inner wall, glass framing, interior glass, and the pool. I have a few more, but those are not needed for this project. Feel free to customize or change your layer names to something that you can remember. In the next video, we'll insert the flow plan that I measured in AutoCAD and begin drawing the flow plan with the use of basic drawing commands. Until then, goodbye.